Hey guys, it's Versus Z with an unboxing video of the Destiny Gundam vs. Infinite Justin Clear Color Version set. Uh, this is a pretty huge box, so I'm going to have a uh, kind of a hard time getting everything together, but let's see what we can do. The packaging is pretty clean. I think the colors that they use for the packaging really fit the two different colors that are on the Destiny and the Infinite Justice. Although I'm kind of getting more of an Infinite Justice feel on uh, the entire box. Anyway, on this side it shows the Destiny in a very simple pose where it shows his little shining finger, I still don't know what it's called, but it's a little cannon in his palm with Shin Asuka right here. And on the opposite side, of course, is the Infinite Justice with Athen Zala. You get the same images on both the left and right side of the box. And both the top and bottom portions of the box show off information and some of the photos for the Destiny and on top, Infinite Justice. And if you notice, there's some English lettering here. Photo of unpainted product. I like it here. It says, even without paint, without glue or paint, you can assemble a colorful item as shown. It includes 1 to 28 scale Shin Asuka and Stella Lucera character plates. So that's real nice. And moving on to here, there's some colored, painted versions of the Destiny, the, the 1 to 100 scale No, uh, no Great Destiny. And some English, some English describing what you could do with the certain parts. And here is just an image of the Infinite Justice with the Destiny posed together in two action-based ones, which are sold separately, so there won't be any um, action bases or stands included with this set. Then on top, it's images of the Infinite Justice showing off the same information and giving you the same type of English words it says. that talks about lure paint and the colorfulness and includes the 1 to 20 scale Athens Zala plate. Some more info on the gimmicks. And instead of showing off an action pose, it shows you the information on the Destiny and the Infinite Justice itself. So this set actually came out back in 2007 and retails for about twice the prices which I got this from, which you all know I got at 27 bucks. Uh, I did Google search just to see where you guys could find it online. I looked around Hobby Link Japan and had no luck or my search criteria just sucked. Uh, but I did look around, found it on eBay for 47 bucks. And I also found it on another website, which I can't remember the name, for 57 So just look around. I will provide that Google shopping link down at the description box so you guys can take a look. But otherwise, let's get this thing open. Typically, the manuals will be stored underneath all the parts. But for the sake of the unboxing video, I'd rather show you guys the manual first. First off, we're going to look at Destiny, just because it's my favorite one. Or maybe not. I don't know. But let's look at the Destiny uh, manual. Both the Infinite Justice and the Destiny manual look pretty... Uh, basic, but then again, I've never really had a 1 to 100 scale no raid uh, model kit from Zero C Destiny until now. On the back, it shows you some of the uh, gimmicks that you're able, the gimmicks that this model has, and some posability, a little bit of info on uh, the different weapons, and some of the, and some more gimmicks on the shield. You open up the manual, and the first thing I notice is that this piece, or this page here, usually is just in black and white, not really color splashed. And I actually like that it's color splash because it shows you that uh, it shows you what colors each parts tree will be. Um, so you get quite you actually pretty much use every single piece except for two polycaps. On the next page, it shows you how to work with the different gates and how to cut them off. It shows you how to read the parts trees to make sure you're doing everything right. So this is definitely you know user friendly or should I say builder friendly. On the bottom here, it shows you which steps go with uh, which piece you'll be building. So, like, first step will be the, the uh, torso, second step will be the head, and it goes on and on. Flipping to the next page, I notice that the steps don't exactly show you which part you're building. So, you would have to go back here and check just to make sure that you're building the right thing. So, it says, like I said, step one for the torso. You'd have to go here and look for step one to know that, that you're building the torso. Other than that, the manual seems pretty straightforward. It just goes on and on and on. Up until the very end where you get to the color guide. And so that's it for the Destiny Gundam, uh, Destiny Gundam manual. Now for the In Infinite Justice Gundam manual. It feels a little thicker. I wonder why that is. Probably because you have to build the Fathom 1. But anyway, you open it up and get the same exact things. Color splash first page to show you which part you're actually using. And once again, you're pretty much using everything except for four polycap joints. Same idea here with the user-friendly guide. <coughs> sorry, builder-friendly guide. And then the same thing going on here with the steps and which parts go with what step. Again, they just go on and on. Now, one thing I noticed about this manual that was different from the Destiny Gundam manual was that it had, actually had this centerfold. 
where it shows you some of the line art of the Infinite Justice and Atherin Zala, which is something I was wishing the Destiny Manual had because this is always like a good little break when you're uh, when you're building when you want to go and you're doing from all the way to step one, all the way up until the last step. This would be like a good break to look at, and it also makes sense that it's there because the next steps actually bring you to start building the Fathom One, which is Infinite Justice backpack. And then finally the last page, which is the color guide. Due to the fact that clear parts usually are more fragile than normal plastic, I'm going to leave the pieces in the bags, but I will try my best to show you some of the different pieces that do stand out to me. Starting with the Destiny side, here's the A-Tree, I believe. It should be the A-Tree. And the first thing I noticed that uh, apparently the entire kit isn't entirely clear. There are some solid pieces like the gray, and here's the beam rifle. But I do have a little nitpick about the beam rifle, and I'll show you that in a second with the with the infinite justice. You get some more gray parts here, like thrusters and a little bit of uh, detail here and there. Clear yellow for some of the areas, like the V-fin, and some of the clear white parts. That's really that's a really nice clear red, by the way. And the small sheet of foil stickers, which are hiding right behind there. The next bag contains some of the clear pieces, not including the body, but the clear pieces for the effects, like the shield, and it's really, really nice looking. And some of the beam effect parts is here as well. And then a parts tree for his anti-ship sword. Now, once again, this is my first 1 to 100 scale no grade um, set for C to C Destiny model kits, and every time I watch Prime92's videos or any of you guys who reviewed these, these model kits, I always really wanted to get my hands on the uh, clear effect parts to see if, if they're really really that good and I gotta say I'm impressed I'm really impressed these are really really very detailed uh, parts uh, and I just realized I need to make a correction on my statement I do have the seed astray kits but um, I don't consider those as seed and seed destiny those are the astray line kits in my opinion clear green parts trees for his rail gun or linear rifle don't remember. And some smoke, which is clear black pieces for uh, some parts in his backpack. More of the clear white, which is ours, uh, which is ours for his legs. Very attractive clear blue here. And some polycap joints. Wonderful dark red, or dark clear red. And then even more solid gray pieces, which also include the clear plate with Shin Asuka and Stella Lucere. Now onto the Infinite Justice pieces and immediately I'll show you why I have a nitpick about Destiny's solid gray beam rifle because with Infinite Justice you get clear parts entirely which to me makes me wonder why couldn't they just give the Destiny you know some clear smoke or not clear smoke but you know clear black slash smoke color for the uh, beam rifle at least. But, anyway, here's, here's some of the uh, Infinite Justice pieces, and I'm already liking this. Like, I see this nice, long, clear pink beam. These two here as well. Nice shield here. It's very, very huge. Uh, polycap joints. Some clear... Some more smoke pieces, I think. But then again, I'm not sure, because Infinite Justice does have a strange color scheme. Strange but attractive color scheme. Then on the opposite side, some of his... Uh, clear purple I believe it is mostly for Fathom 1 now this parts tree here is quite interesting because it's not just clear white which is obviously different from that it's kind of a clear pearl white which is odd and attractive at the same time so I really want to see how this comes together and there's the Arthur and Zala plate right there and behind are some of the clear pink pieces well now that's scary you see this uh, sheet of foil stickers compared to the Destiny sheet of foil stickers. It really makes me wonder, do I even need this? Probably don't. But anyway, here's some more solid pieces, uh, mostly for Fathom 1 and some of the hands. And the last bag, which contains some solid pieces and some clear purple, I think, and some more clear pink. And there's the little wire for the effect parts of his, uh, his uh, anchor on his shield weapon. Alright, so that pretty much covers everything. Now, since this is, a, this is a clear set, I have no plans to paint it or anything. I was going to leave it as is, uh, but I do plan to be very careful with it, and that's something that I should warn you guys about as well. Um, 
Also, I'm I'm getting that from those who've already built clear, uh, clear parts model kits. Some of you have already given me, you know, a little warning and some tips to to watch out with this and that. And I really do appreciate you guys looking out like uh, looking out that way. Um, but in that case, as I build this, I will be building this um, right after this unboxing video. So as I build this, uh, some of you do continue to uh, lend me some tips. And or if you had any and or if you had any questions about uh, the progress or how the build is going on, for those of you who are curious, uh, feel free to ask me some questions. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get to it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video and found it a little bit helpful for those of you who are curious. All right, enjoy your guys' day. I'll see you later.